Go on, one more time. He's a really nice guy. We just don't know who he was. Uh, what is that? The experience? Experience in Alternative GC23. And your name is Tristan Brock, by the way. It is. Okay, it is. In, case, it is. in case you're wondering. What's going on? This is Tristan Brock with Moon Fever. You're listening to The Experience, the new alternative, GT23. Just like a rock star. This is Dave Reese from the MTR Project. You're listening to The Groove Zone. Crank it up. Rock and roll. Cool, guys. There. How's it going, Dave? Good. How are you doing? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nice hat. I don't, I don't know if it was supposed to be or not meant to be, but man, this has been a uh, chore getting a hold of you guys and tracking y'all down. We're never in the same place. I guess not. It takes more than grenade one grenade to take this band out. Yeah, it's got to be a really big grenade, too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> How are you doing? How's it going? So, pretty good. We've had a good night of re- doing some recording, so cool. things are cool. good. Is that Brody? Okay. Yeah, we got Brody over here. Hey, Brody, how are you? And then uh, got Martin's over there. I recognize him. And um, then uh, Andy's still got his headphones on over there. Mr. Beach. All yeah. right. I, you know what, though? Honestly, this is a first. In the, what, two and a half years or so that we've been associated, this is a first to actually get you guys all at the same time. Especially with... Oh, Brody. that's cool. Yeah, no doubt. Right on. So I'll tell you what, hey, what's that, mister? We need to get Mike on board so you can actually make that claim. Yeah, it's we got no hommel. I was going to say, yeah, there, I was gonna, there is one missing. Yeah, the, direct, the general's not here. Yeah. I will I will take I will take four as opposed to five. I'll take three if it comes to that. Shoot, I would have just right? taken Martin if that's what it came down to. But yeah. oh, thank you. We just had to wait until Martin had the hiccup, so. Oh, oh really? Oh, this yeah. Oh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You know I love gnarly. I ate pizza that was cold, so I just kind of ate uh, it. That'll do it. Hey, old man scary. problems. I know, and huh? That, you know, you don't chew it and you swallow. And... It's all good. <laughs> I, have raise my, I know, I have to raise my hand on that one. Thank you, like, big boy. Like awesome. All right. I'm ready if you guys are. Sure thing. Cool, here we go. Hey guys, you are watching The Groove Zone's Convos, the Holiday Edition, also known as Holidays 22. I know that's a mouthful. Another mouthful would be how hard it has been to tackle the task of getting this entire band together at one time. I gotta say, I'm totally stoked to be able to hang out for a few tonight with the members of MTR Project. We've got Brody Reese, Dave Reese, and Martin Thomas Reed. Hey, hey, we've got Andy. Hey. We've got Andy, Andy Beach. Andy. There's Andy. Hey. <laughs> nice. Andy, how you doing? It's just oh, not cool. here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool, cool, cool. So guess what? Uh, minus one drummer, we've got the whole group, guys. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, I need yeah. fucking drummer. Yeah. He was supposed to be here and he flaked out. Is that what it was? Okay. Well, I can, uh, I can like, pat my leg. Anyway, MTR Project, thank you guys so much. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you for having us, Darren. Brody, that's Ooh, much better. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. um, what's new with the MTR project? What's going on? What's new with the MTR project? What's going on? You know, we're about to do some releases. We're, we're re- recording. We just did a couple uh, songs tonight. One that was kind of uh, uh, writing mode, and the other one that was like, wow, that came out well. Let's build on that and uh, aim towards this being the the, tra- the, the scratch for the release. 
So cool. we think we think that the uh, the direction's going in the right the right way for sure. Nice. So we did about five demos now, and then one that's uh, that's pretty close to to where we want it. So, but nice. but four other ones that are in the demo form. So we're looking at a total of what about is that not quite ten? Yeah, Darren, we just start going, and then it, then when it runs out, we call it an album. So, so so far five of them have kind of trickled out, and then but there's more coming. We're cool. thirty six. We might we'll cut it down from thirty six that Andy has in his head. Wow. Damn. Yeah. That's on you now. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Hey, that's okay. Level. You know, they said that the prints for that now, right? They yeah. Said they put out enough music. I think you the release an album they for 100 years or something like that. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. So, yeah, well, um, as long as we get it 100 years, that would be great. I know. Yeah. Well, not. Maybe, but yeah, no doubt. If not, then Brody's going to have to carry the baton on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the yeah. equal for sure. No doubt. Speaking of which, Brody, this is your first uh, visit with us. How's it going? Oh, it's going great, man. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm glad you're here. So I got to know, um, first of all, let the audience know how old you are. You're uh, 18, old 19. <laughs> Oh, he entered, uh, yeah, he got his driver's license today. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, cool. yeah not bad, huh? Yeah, no doubt. So what's it like being in the band? Um, well, we make music. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, um, it, yeah, it's for sure a lot of fun. Um, it's been a real privilege to be able to, like, uh, like I, I've played with like a lot of different people, but um, to get with a group of people that have, I mean, like been been doing it for like this long and like really, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like really really coming into it with like, um, like they had an idea of what this group was gonna be, and you know they they put out this EP before I was around and did most of the first album, but um, it's been super fun to like you know be around for the recording the first album do a couple tracks and then uh really be more of a part of this song so yeah i'm sure i would see these guys yeah very cool very cool yeah you're hanging around with some pretty heavy hitters as far as um uh the, not only the duration of time they've been in it but also the caliber because both Absolutely. Dave and andy and of course you've got mr martin you know on vocals so it's like you know winning yeah, like a, a dying sheep <laughs> <laughs> well we had him work on the acoustic guitar happy tonight so uh, yeah. heavy lifting on acoustic Ooh. nice uh, yeah. that's the new that's the new yeah. sound that we're going for you know is uh, heavy uh an acoustic guitar with one string <laughs> and, uh, that was your yeah, old thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, you almost <laughs> had me. Hey. Or, or a lamb. Man. You, seriously, you seriously almost had me. I'm like, really? That's the direction you're going? Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, it, it's like whatever works, you know? <laughs> hey, no doubt. If it fills seats, <laughs> you're doing good, you know? Still fills seats and sells records. Um, Dave, yeah. it's been a little yeah. while since we've had you on the show. Last time you were with us was actually Valentine's Day. Oh, how about that? Yeah, got both you and Martin on. So it has been a little while, guys. Yeah, and yeah, we're still together. Oh, um, here on I yeah, yeah Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day yeah. To, yeah, doing the you, you know you're you're close with someone when you say, hey man, I got this black hat on my shoulder. Can you get it? For me? <laughs> and he'll get it. Yeah, he'll get it. He's, he's not. You're more than a sandpaper. Take care. Guitars and designated driver. <laughs> you gotta wear a lot of hats. We hey, speaking of which, yeah. Did you see yeah. Oh yeah, you got the the, the... yeah. Wear the MPR hat. Yeah, I broke mine out today. Rock and roll. Yeah. Those happen to be your initials. You know that, right? Uh, yeah. no way. Mountains, trees, and rocks as well, though. Yeah. That's right, by Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, I've heard that, and that's an awesome track. Um, the holidays, <laughs> you guys. Can you believe it? Christmas is already here. What what's uh 
what's in store for the holidays for uh, each one of you guys? Let's start with um, Martin. Uh, I'm going to drink. I'm going to probably hang out with friends and family and yeah. uh, drink <laughs> eggnog. Yeah. And, no. We think about Christmas things. And, Andy's a Scrooge. I think Christmas sucks. Yeah, he doesn't like eggnog. Christmas. That is such a good thing. I got to get Brody something now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we're all still going to have to get people stuff. Yeah, I got to get Brody a camp. I'll be off the hook. Yeah. But remember that that's your designated <laughs> driver. So. Right. Yeah. You got to keep that guy happy. Yeah. That's right. Or maybe he'll get yeah. some driving gloves or something. <laughs> oh my God. There you go. Maybe a gas card. No doubt. No doubt. That's not bad. I'm brainstorming. I'm coming up with some good stuff here. Hey, hold on, hold on. We got to do a, 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 a commercial break for Mountain Dew. Get to Mountain Dew, yay! Mountain Dew, yay! 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 Yeah. Whoa, okay, man! Mountain Dew! Okay, you know what I get to do? I now get to contact the Pepsi Cola company or Coca Cola, show yes. them the clip, and say, money, please. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, we'd appreciate know. that, Darren. No doubt, no doubt. Um, okay, so we know what Martin's going to be doing. Um, Dave, what's on board for you for the holidays? You traveling all over or what? Yeah, well, I work for the Seahawks, and we play the um, Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas Eve morning. And so uh, then uh, I'll, I'll do some shows around that. And then it's also my mom's birthday, Brody's grandma. Say? So Happy then we'll birthday, head over to Bainbridge Island to go celebrate uh, her uh 86 85th birthday wow happy yeah. birthday mom happy yeah birthday. how about that no, Five, eight, eight, five. five. how yeah, cool five. that's awesome okay yeah i'll bet holidays are probably pretty busy for you guys too oh definitely definitely oh, yeah. Darren. no doubt yeah. no but, doubt you know we figured out it took us forever to even plan this day yeah. to get together in the studio and yeah, we've been talking about this price for at least a month. Yeah, we were definitely. Yeah, but yeah. before this, yeah. last time we okay. saw each other was uh, playing for a sure. show um, <laughs> in, in in the greater Bellingham area. But, you know. Okay, yeah, we, we played the Shakedown in Bellingham. Yeah, yeah. and they're okay. actually um, uh, landmarking Olympia, all the different sites. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, Kurt, Kurt Cobain slept here. Kurt Cobain pissed here. All kinds of stuff. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I'm That's, you have to say a Martin Reed reality tour too. We could just, we were thinking of leading a Martin Reed reality tour. We well, should. Like, yeah. Oh, well, we should. Name? yeah, we should. Let's do it. Yeah, name for it. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a live we'll do a live broadcast. I'm nowhere near cool as turd. Come on. <laughs> You're on your way. You gotta you gotta eat Cheerios to do that. You know, uh, Kurt Kurt has to stay at my house after a show in 1980. Yeah, my band, we didn't know who he was. He wasn't famous or anything. And he just came to see my band, Skin Diver, and, and uh, he had her album. And so, uh, yeah, he was apparently and said, I can't get back to Aberdeen. Can we stay at your house? And uh, one of my other band members said, no. But Martin passed the gun. He got to stay at the house. So. Yeah. <laughs> I love those yeah, stories. Yeah, that's how I found Andy. So I'm <laughs> really? I'm sure I'm sure no way. Hi, this is Stephen Rabo, trapped somewhere in the Sleaze District of Florida, wishing you and your loved ones a merry, happy Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. I'll say that again. Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. And many, 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 many more to come. The next day, we're right back to the same old thing. Exactly. Yeah, it would be different if it like hung out for a while. Okay. It's, like it's it. cool to have things to, to celebrate and have fun, but I, 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 and I get that the need for change and, you know, like, you know, spirit day at work or whatever. You know, today you could wear your slippers too. <laughs> but. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, my, my favorite, 
part of Christmas, though, is watching kids open presents and see things yeah. that they, oh, they wow. you know, they're going <laughs> to you know, throw it's, away that's what call the next that. day and yeah. never play with it. Yeah. It's my favorite uh, part. Let's see. Brody, what's your favorite Christmas memory? Favorite Christmas uh, memory? Listening to Van Halen. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, Dave gave me this uh, Van Halen Phase 90, and it's on my pedal board to this day. So that, that was pretty epic. Nice. Yeah, every uh, every Christmas when he was a little kid, I'd ask him, "Hey, Brody, what's your favorite Van Halen song?" And I think at five years old, he said, "Well, my mom likes Ice Cream Man." I said, "Okay, now we're getting somewhere." And then I think he was seven, and he came up with Unchained. And so, nice. her, so yeah, he uh, his grandma gave him a guitar uh, that he, he made into a prank and uh, yeah, rat. it was and, one of those uh, Fender Squire like the mini ones that yeah. like he's all, all like start total starter guitar is great and it's like in that rocket red and first thing I did too is I took a couple rolls of electrical tape and would <laughs> like the red and because and I did the you know Frank and Strat design so yeah yeah that was a good Christmas. Yeah. And I laughed and I go, well, it's going to be a long time before you sound like Eddie Van Halen. And then the next Christmas, I was like, oh, crap, he sounds like Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was a really good Christmas when Brody got his first guitar. Yeah. Eight, For how old? Nine. You said you were seven? I, I was nine, yeah. Nine years old, nine. yeah. That, that's yeah. still really young. Now, did you go to, didn't you like go to a music school or something? Or like School of Rock or something like that? Yeah, I, I was involved for uh a couple years in uh school rock yeah that's um so yeah i i, I learned a, a, a lot of stuff and then it's uh yeah great program especially for people like picking up a new instrument looking to get together with other people and make music so Zeke yeah what, shout out to like, Zeke. What, yeah. what ages um does it take do you know um so they have numerous new uh youth programs uh from like Seven to eight. Yes, yeah, seven. seven to eighty-four. <laughs> yeah, they have a. Yeah, they they do have an adult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Programs okay. Programs from like seven to, 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 I think eighteen, and then after adult. you turn eighteen, you can so do run their adult programs. But nice. Yeah, that. Uh, I think yeah. Uh, that's that's truly really why I love music, and um, uh, I think that it brings everyone together beyond Christmas and beyond all this stuff and the rhetoric that we listen to on the news and the bullshit that we listen to every day. Yeah, you can't so. buy into that anyway. Cool. Andy yep. Beach, thank you so much. It's been you a bet. total pleasure. Have yourself Always. a great no have yourself a great December twenty fifth. Um I have a great day every day. Okay. Regardless. When the twenty fifth rolls yeah. around, um awesome. Andy Beach even a bad day is a good day. Uh, Brody Reed for a while. Brody Reed. Yes, sir. Um, give us a word to the world and do a shout out to anybody that you want to do a shout out to. And um, we'll uh, we'll wrap this puppy up. What's your word to the yeah. world? Anybody watching, what do you want them to know? Um, music's awesome. Vincent Van Halen is better than Guns N' Roses. And be <laughs> nice to people. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not bad for six <laughs> days, huh? Your uncle wrote that right. straight, didn't he? Did yeah, your uncle yeah. tell you to say that? Did your uncle tell you to say that? No, it's uh... It always sounded like it, though. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just texted that clip to your mom. <laughs> awesome. Brody, hey, thank you so much. Totally, it's been, a, it's been awesome getting a chance to talk to you for a little while. Yeah, thanks, man. Sweet. Come back and do it again with us. Dave Reese. MTR project. Mister, what's your word to the world? And I want to thank everyone for listening. Uh, these guys and my band, it's been a great time for three years now that we've been making music and having a blast. And we really appreciate everyone that supported us. Um, everyone that's out there listening to local music, that's playing local music, that's pushing local music. This is the time. It's important to do that. And these group balls are my best <laughs> friends that I'm doing it with, and it's fantastic. Thanks, Darren. You You're one of them. You. You're one Thank of you. them. I appreciate that. Martin Reed, MTR. Yeah. What's your word to the world, my friend? 
everybody. Keep being good to each other. Keep loving each other. And uh, get out of each other's way, especially your own way. The best way to avoid trouble is to, you know, just avoid it altogether, right? Uh, <laughs> and uh, also, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> Just like a rock. All right, Brody. Okay. Hi, this is Brody Reese from MTR Project. You're listening to Groove Zone. Ow! Hey! Rock and roll. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're listening to The Groove Zone. This is Martin Thomas Reeves from MTR Project. Just like a rock. All right. MTR Project, crank it up. Something like that. Holy night. Holy is calm. All Brown brown brown. Brown. Do your promo. How that? How's that, Darren? <laughs> Andy, that was awesome. I'm waiting for the second verse. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can edit stuff, right? Oh, totally. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, of course, we is greater than me. We're we're stronger to, together than we are uh, alone. And so the best thing that we can do is, is reach out when we see somebody that's in need and, and we're in a better place and, and give a hand. There you go. Um, also, it, a, a change of, of mind is an important perspective. Uh, we're not broke. We're, we're not broken. Uh, we're bruised, right? We're not poor. We're, we might be uh, without money, but we're not poor. Right, you know, I'm just saying, whatever ails you, you just uh, try to look at it half one, it, it'll get better. That's what I've noticed, anyways. Things get better, they tend to get better. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, applesauce. And I do want to say, uh, to a couple people, uh, especially my band, it's, it's great to have my band here to, to do some music and, uh, uh, my, my fiance Rachel for putting up with uh, me and, and for me in some real dark times recently. And, Hi, Rachel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Rachel Freeman. And uh, my mom, of course. Hi, Mary. Uh, Mary Carey. She's an amazing woman. Uh, my sister, awesome. Natalie. She's smoking. <laughs> oh, a beautiful woman. And uh, she is an idiot. Karine Reed. <laughs> my, my oldest sister. <laughs> hey, and. <laughs> And uh, my my youngest brother, Mike Comerford, and of course my my dad. Hey, hi, this is Trent Kelly of the Wave Show on KVSH LP on Vashon Washington. And I really need you guys to check out the Group Zone out of Olympia, Washington. It's cool stuff. Rock and roll. Uh, Do like this, like this. There you go. Hey, this is Dave Reese from MTR Project. We're listening to the Groove Zone Holiday Show with Darren. We're having a blast. MTR Project, crank it up. Yeah, like that. Yeah, Are you ready? Are you yeah. ready? I'm going to do one. I want to do one. Andy, Mark gets, Andy's going to go, Andy. Andy. Andy, go. Andy, go. Darren, you ready? Yep. You ready? I am. Woo! Groove Zone. MTR Project, bringing it. There you go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. That's money right there. That's money. Dad, I, I love you very, very much. Oh, your dad? No. Okay, I'll tell you what. Knock him in the knee or something, but Brody's on my S list now. Nothing but cold <laughs> here, kid. 
All right, NPR Project. Been hanging with us on the Groove Zone, guys. Thank you guys again so much. Thank you, Darren. Thanks for putting up with us. We appreciate you. Hey, Thank not you at all. Guys. We're having a great night. This could end up being a five-minute interview, depending on how much I have to edit out. Yeah. <laughs> at least 45 minutes. <laughs> no doubt. No Thanks, doubt. Darren. Hey, best of the holidays to all you guys. And we will touch Thank you. Thank you. Have a lot come back, John, and everything you got going in the new year. Huh? I'll let you, yeah, I'll let you guys yeah. know. Um, check them yeah. out. Check our project. Wait. Um, they're on YouTube. Um, they're all over the place. You check these guys out. And uh, when they're in your area, go see them live. I'm DJ D. Phoenix, coming to you live from Olympia, Washington. You've been watching the Groove Zones holidays. And we will see you right after these messages. Thanks, guys. All right. <laughs>